Hello YouTube, welcome back to my video. In this video, we are going to check how to create PDF files uh, using Java and we will be checking how to generate a PDF file uh, dynamically using content from uh, a database. So for demonstration, I will be using MySQL database. So uh, this is my Eclipse IDE. If you don't have your Eclipse IDE, please go to my videos. I have another video how you can install Eclipse IDE for Java developers. Okay. So let's go for creating a new Java project in the Eclipse IDE. Just go to new and just select uh, other. And I'm going to select Java and select in this Java project. Just select next and uh, give any project name. I'm giving the project name as generate PDF okay I'm just giving the name as generate PDF all others I am going to put as uh, default and just click on the project has been created so we are going to use an external Java file for creating the PDF so the Java file which we are going to use is this one iText PDF okay so we are going to use this API for creating uh, the PDF files okay so I have already uh, downloaded this. I will uh, share the link uh, to download this from where you can. And uh, I'm going to um, add that Java file it, uh, into our build path. So then only we can uh, create uh, the Java project to uh, create the PDF. Okay. So to add that uh, Java file to the class path or the build path, just go to right click on the uh, project, go to build path where you can see configure build path. And in the library section, just click on add external jars. So once you select that, just navigate to location where you have uh, the jar file. So you see in my eDrive jar. So I'm going to paste that location here. Just select from here and just press OK. Okay. So in the reference libraries, you can see the iText PDF may be added here. So now I'm going to create a package in the SRC. Uh, SRC folder so the package name you can create anything so I'm giving it as a com.chillifax.com so inside which I'm going to create a new class the class name is uh, uh, generate PDF okay I'm just giving it, uh, giving it as uh, generate PDF and just uh, select this one we are going to uh, use the main method for this one just uh, Click that and just click finish okay and wait for your uh, class to be created yes the Java class has been created the generate PDF and inside that um, there is a main method okay so we are going to uh, go step by step how written or what are the step we have to follow for creating a simple PDF file so here, here is the step first we have to get a uh, create a file name for the uh, PDF so I'm going to create a string variable so string inside the string we are going to create a file name so it's like file name is equal to so we have to specify exact path of the file name and with the file name okay so i have created a folder in my e drive generate pdf i'm going to copy this path from here paste it here and uh, we have to give double slash for that path and here we have to specify uh, the name of uh, the file okay so i'm giving uh, the name of uh, the file as silifax test dot pdf okay so it will create a pdf file in this name okay now the next step which we have to give is a created document object so let's go for creating a document object now to open uh, the document this index is uh, document uh, give a document name document is equal to new document okay so basically this is uh, from our java file so we will have to import there to import it just press uh, control space you will get uh, uh, the uh, suggestion uh, import it from con.itext pdf and down we have to open the third step is uh, get the pdf writer instance okay so the syntax for getting the pdf writer instance is uh, pdf writer so this is also from itext pdf uh, dot get instance and we have to give uh, the document and uh, the output stream okay so it will be like new file output stream and inside that we have to give uh, the file name okay here it is so there is a chance of uh, throwing exception as you can see here we have to uh, surround it for, uh, by try catch block so I'm going to add a try catch block completely here to here 
and just print the exception if any okay system dot out dot print the land okay just print the exception if any and uh, the next uh, which we have to give uh, is open the document so the syntax is document dot open and the last step is here is uh, close the document and inside that we have to add the content now let me close the uh, document here at, at the last and we are going to add a uh, content in between this one okay so let's uh, go for uh, adding some content here so uh, the simplest way to add uh, a paragraph or to a sentence to a, a something uh, in uh, the PDF file is to create a paragraph object. So I'm going to create a paragraph here. So paragraph is also from uh, a text PDF. So I'm giving the name as para and it will be like new paragraph and inside that we'll uh, add the uh, content for the paragraph. Write the content inside this one. Okay. So I'm giving the content as this is testing uh, from chillyfax.com. Okay, so the content is added. Now we have to add this para uh, to the document. So it will be like document dot add, and the element is this para. Okay, so this is the simplest way. Uh, the code is finished. This is the simplest way where you can add something uh, and create a, a paragraph using uh, Java. So let me run this in, uh, let me give a message here, system.out.println finished. So we will get it as a finished message. So let me run it as run as Java application. And as you can see here, the message is come finished. Let me go to the uh, e-generate PDF. Here it is, the file has been created. So if I'm just opening this one, it should have uh, the message this is testing from chillyfax.com okay so this is the simplest way where which you can uh, create a, a simple pdf file so uh, there are uh, some methods like where you can add uh, image and add uh, table everything so i'm not going to explain everything i'll add uh, the source code here and i'll explain that so this is also that is also a symbol you'll have to uh, just uh, go on with uh, the syntax of that so this is the simple paragraph and let me add uh, uh, another uh, uh, all other codes to add image and to add uh, uh, add a table everything here and I'll explain that I have uh, just uh, written the steps which we have how we can create uh, a table inside uh, uh, a PDF file and uh, here is the uh, step just first create uh, the table uh, PDF table object okay so here is the uh, code for that so first we are creating a, a PDF table object so inside that we are uh, giving uh, the number of columns required okay so we have we need number of column as three and uh, just uh, keep on adding after that you can create a cell object with uh, uh, the phrase inside which we need so I am have created a, a cell as uh, C1 and uh, and I'm uh, using that uh, PDF cell again and again with the uh, uh, new phrases inside. Okay, so here in this uh, C1, I'm adding a heading one, and uh, in the second one, we are adding a heading two, and third one, we are having adding as uh, heading three. And as you can see here, uh, I'm adding one by one as cell, and we are setting the first first uh, row as header rows here. And and uh, continuing add uh, adding the cell one by one. Okay, so this uh, this is the step, and this is not a complicated one. You can uh, try yourself. So let's uh, uh, try running uh, this uh, program and see the output. Just select run as Java application, and as you can see here, yeah, the file is already open. Let me close this, and just run it again. And here it is the message finished. Now let's go to open uh, this file and see what is the output. Yes, you can see here the first message has been come here, and next uh, the table has been created as heading one, heading two, heading three, and uh, the column cells uh, values which we have given directly here. Okay. Now that in the third one we are going to add an image in the uh, page and let's uh, see how uh, the image can be added okay so the third one is add image in pdf okay yes uh, this is the way which uh, you can add an image uh, to the pdf just add the uh, image instance like this document dot add 
an image dot get instance and uh, get the location of uh, the image we have said so i have uh, logo dot png in the generate pdf i have just here uh, copied the logo dot png here in the generate pdf folder so here it is now so I'm going to add an empty uh, space between uh, this text and the table. So the simplest way which we can add it is uh, by document.add and inside that we can create a new paragraph with the empty string. Okay. So this is how uh, this is how uh, you can add a uh, white space in a PDF way PDF uh, uh, in, the, in the simplest way. Okay. So I have just added this one. So let me copy paste uh, three or four times here. Now let's try generating the file. Okay. So if I'm just going to run as Java application, the message has come finished, and I'm going to generate a PDF. If I'm opening this one, we can see here uh, the uh, image has been added into the PDF file. Okay. So this is how you can add an image uh, to uh, the PDF file uh, and create a PDF file using Java. Okay, so, the, so this is the simplest uh, uh, way which we created directly hard coded the values. Okay, now I'm going to add the code to get uh, the data from uh, MySQL database and uh, print the values uh, from the MySQL database. Okay, so let me write the code uh, for that and I'll explain how it works. So, going to SRC. I'm going to create a page com dot uh, chillyfax dot com uh, dot dynamic. Okay, I'm just giving it as dynamic. So uh, it means that I'm going to create uh, a connection class to MySQL database and get the values from the MySQL database and create the PDF file according to that. Okay. Yes, I have uh, created the Java classes to get the connection and create the PDF file. So uh, this <laughs> DB connection dot Java is getting connection to my MySQL uh, database. So in my MySQL database, uh, there is a database named test and this is my username and password. This is a symbol uh, MySQL uh, connectivity class of uh, using Java and uh, yeah, I'm going to show you uh, this is my MySQL database so this is a MySQL client if you don't have uh, if you don't know how to uh, use this go to my uh, videos I have another video uh, as a MySQL client you can have a check so in my MySQL database there is a database named test so, so inside that there is a table named code so this is the table so uh, the data which uh, the table is having uh, is uh, a cell number column and a name column and it, it has uh, these uh, data okay one two three four and uh, the data name is uh, uh, the name as the column having is having uh, values as java php html javascript and tomcat now i'm going to uh, take these values uh, from mysql database and print in our uh, pdf file okay so i have created generate pdf dynamic dot java where i'm uh, setting the file name and as i explained i'm ge getting uh, the pdf writer and uh, i'm opening the document and from here i am getting uh, the database connectivity using uh, the db connection dot java i'm just get creating an object for that and uh, getting the connection okay and i have uh, created a select uh, query from here and from that I'm uh, taking the values and iterating here in the paragraph and each iteration I'm getting uh, the SL number and name uh, from the database and adding dynamically here okay so after that I'm just closing that uh, closing that document okay since uh, this is uh, from MySQL we have to add uh, the MySQL Java file in our class path so to add it just right click on that and I can go on the project go to build path configure build path and same way we have added the uh, itex pdf we have to add uh, the uh, mysql java file also just click on add external java so i have copied that for, uh, as in e drive java file so this is the file which you need just double click on there and just press ok okay now we are ready to execute uh, the program and uh, the pdf file be generated as the chill effects uh, uh, underscore test dynamic uh, dot pdf okay now just right click here just select run as and just select run java application and it says like it's a, it has called the connection and uh, and it is uh, printing from here okay so once uh, the connection is called uh, the connection called is printing from here 
and the file has been created okay now let's go to that folder output folder generate pdf and this is the file which i have created if i'm opening is here it is all the uh, data has been taken from uh, the database and it is printed from here printed here okay so let me add one more data here as a sixth one so i'm going to add like uh, i'll add as a, a value as c plus plus here and uh, it has been added so okay now going back to our code closing this one going back to our code if i'm just running this one as a java application and uh, here it is uh, the file let me open it here it is okay the six value has been added okay so this is how you can uh, take a value from the database and create the pdf file okay hope you got this if you have any doubt in this uh, please comment below i'll be helping you i have explained step by step how you can create it if you have um, i'll share all the source code in my description if uh, you can have it and uh, please like and subscribe for my videos and thanks for watching